We're in Larnaca on the beautiful island of Cyprus. We're right in front of this amazing sculpture called Escaping People. We don't know the history behind it, so if you do, please pop it in the comments below. Now, Larnaca is 6,000 years old and it was founded by uh, Noah's great grandson, or I'm sorry, Noah's grandson. Noah's great, what, Noah of the, Noah's as, Ark? As in Noah of the Ark. Oh, that's amazing, I didn't know that. It did, and it's the oldest city in Cyprus, is Larnaca, and it's been ruled by the, i get this right, the Phoenicians, the Grecians, the Ottomans, and the British. Now, the Ottomans ruled it for 300 years, so they had the longest rule me about Cleopatra as well. It was gifted, so Cyprus was gifted to Cleopatra by General Mark Antony, or Marcus Antonius as he was. Uh, imagine that as a prison. I mean, <laughs> like, that's some gift, isn't it? It's pretty good, isn't it? I'm not going to be able to top that for Valentine's Day. <laughs> so we're now in Larnaca town centre and behind me is the Church of St Lazarus, built in 900 AD by the Byzantine Emperor Leo VI, otherwise known as Leo the Wise and it was built on the tomb of St. Lazarus. Right beside the church is a little monastery art store. Um, it looks amazing. So we're really taken with these sort of um, incense burner things. They're gorgeous and they range in sort of prices from 60 to 100 euros. Gary's saying, should we get one of those? Should we get one, Gary? Yeah, why not? Oh, mind you, we can... <laughs> the little bracelets are more in our price range, I think. It's uh, three and four euros. So we're just looking at going into the church but there's a sign outside that says no shorts and you have to wear trousers and dress modestly. There seems to be some things hanging up there. I think you can wrap it around yourself, but Gary's got shorts on himself. So, what, do you wrap it around like a skirt? I think so. And I'm not going to because I just don't know. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I don't know if you can film in the church anyway, but I'd like a look. I'm gonna go and have a look in the church. It's so peaceful here. I'm not particularly religious, but I really enjoy churches. Like, it's peaceful, isn't it? Very, yeah. Gary's put the skirt thing on, and I think it was a good move, and it suits you. <laughs> churches are so relaxing, and look at Gary accidentally matched the uh, skirt that you get for free with his top. It looks, <laughs> looks like your actual outfit. I <laughs> look your eyes, I'm getting undressed. <laughs> So we're going to stop in a restaurant for a bite to eat. We're just going to get a chicken pitta and uh, it's right outside the church. So we've got a beautiful view of St. Lazarus Church. Lovely. Really yeah, nice. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous here. I know we've been lucky because the weather's been really nice today. Yeah. But this is the middle of January and it's easily in the early 20s, isn't yeah. it, Bab? Yeah. It's better sat here in the shade than it is out here in the sun. Yeah, I mean, we need to be sitting in the so shade. So the guy's just brought us out a little free sort of starter thing for us. And it's carrots in olive oil and lemon and a bit of salt. I really like it. Gary's not so keen because he knows we're on a bit of a cut down. <laughs> so he's giving us something light, isn't he? <laughs> he is. It's a bit too lemony for me. Oh, I like it. Mmm. It's really nice. Can't believe how lovely this is, Bob. Mm. This is renowned for its cats and we've just got a little visitor. Oh, we don't want to be on camera though. <laughs> oh, look, he's gone off in a half. There's more, car there's more cats in Cyprus than there are people. About 1.5 million cats, they said. They're, that's incredible, isn't it? It is, and they were bought over by if Queen Helena yeah to get rid of the rats I thought it was to get rid of the snakes oh it was it was a snake so you're right but I thought cats were scared of snakes really these ones weren't because they came from Egypt <laughs> hardcore cats <laughs> that's right <laughs> he's just made the worst like dad joke ever as soon as we stopped filming that bit he went yeah those cats are in denial <laughs> see what I've got to put up with also, for a bloke who doesn't like these carrots, he ain't stopped bloody munching them since they got here. Well, oh, he didn't Shake, like them. I'm shaking the lemon juice off. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> this is typical you. No, I'm I don't hungry. like it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is our chicken savlaki pitta. The guy's given us loads of salad. He knows we're on a diet. And uh, it looks amazing. You'll never guess how much this is. It's seven euros. That's not bad, especially when you consider where we're sitting and... It's lovely, isn't it, Bab? Oh, that's fantastic, that is. Oh my God. It's absolutely <laughs> delicious, isn't it, Bab? Mm. Mm. I can't recommend this highly enough. It's really delicious and it's really really good value, but we do seem to have loads of cats around us now. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, looking all cute and innocent. Uh, Gary says no chance. <laughs> Look, 
gosh, they're all trying to dodge them. Look. We've just ordered one of these little um, Cypriot coffees. Now, they're really bitter, and I read an article this week where it reckoned that it opens your arteries out. It lets you live longer. But I didn't know how they made it. Hold on, this guy does. So this is Dedos, and this is his restaurant. Hi, everyone. And uh, it's Stoa, isn't it, this yeah, restaurant? Yeah, so Stoa is our cafe and restaurant here. And the Cypress coffee, a lot of places you can do it over your stove with gas. Uh -huh. But here we have an extra layer where we have a tray of sand. So Gary's having his, his bitter coffee to open his arteries. What do you think? He's not going to like it. I can tell by his face. It's definitely bitter. <laughs> <laughs> but not the sort of bitter you like. Not the sort of bitter. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it a whirl. It's tiny little cup. I feel like I'm in a doll's house. <laughs> Oh gosh, it's really strong. I don't know, I think you could get used to it. And if it's supposed to be really good for you, I could handle that. There's no calories as well, so... Mm -mm. So how nice is this? Dennis is going to show us how to do it with the coffee. So what do you do then? So you... usually you just put one... It depends. If they want no sugar, so that's called sketto, which yeah. is plain. Yeah. Metrio is one sugar. Okay. And gliki, which is sweet, is two sugars. Oh, two so, sugars in that? That's, that's really yeah, some sweet, isn't it? Like it? So today we'll just do a metrio, which is one coffee yeah. and one sugar. Right. So then this thing here is filled with water. Okay. So you just put some water in that and you give it a good stir. Oh, right. And this thing is like a little whisker. Oh, yeah. And then I'll just grab a cup from here. And that water's boiling hot at the moment anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's been going since like 7.30 this morning. Oh, you put it on every day? Yeah. Oh, wow. And then, so if you see, you just turn it and if you see how it's starting to froth up. Oh, yeah. Oh. And so this is the old fashioned way, I This is I the presume. old fashioned way. I love that you do it this way. So what you do, you, do, you give the first layer, so it's got that little bit of a... Oh, yeah. In, in Cyprus, we call it gamaki. It's like a little froth at the top. Oop, and Ooh. I spilt that. That's not good. I would, I would have spilled it all day Apologies, long. Apologies, viewers. <laughs> <laughs> and that's... And that's your finished product. That's your coffee. And what do you say? Cheers? How do you say cheers? Or... Uh, yes. Yamas. Yamas. And this one's really funny. If you talk behind my back, you're in the perfect position to kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll tell you what else they've got. They've got like, Cyprus is really famous for all the cats. They've got all the cats of Cyprus. Big mouth cat, stoned cat, seriously pissed off cat, spooky cat, romantic cat, wicked cat, shy cat and confused cat. Which one do you think you are? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Big mouth cat. <laughs> you're, you're, you're the confused cat. <laughs> we found a, a bag with all the dogs of Cyprus now as well. Happy dog, hungry dog, pissed off dog, angry dog, romantic dog. That's you, Gary. Confused dog, dramatic dog. That's me. And what's that? Cunning, Cunning dog. <laughs> Cunning dog's teeth. <laughs> There's so much artwork down by the beach as well. This one's a memorial to Odessa, and uh, you can see all the Ukrainian colours, and it's really quite sad actually. Um, absolutely gorgeous here though, and there's a fabulous lion sculpture there. And then as you sort of look around and you head up that street there, that's what will take you to Lazarus Church. There's loads to do here, and then there's a beautiful fort just here. We're just going to go into the fort and tickets are only two euros fifty. That's not bad, is it? Well, just looking at the literature, it seems it's a castle rather than a fort, doesn't it? Or is yeah. it? Is that the same thing? I'm not. I think. I think the castle. A bit of both. Was, yeah, the castle was conducted was built in 1625. Yeah. And I think before that it might have been a fort in the 14th century. What are these here? They look like ovens, don't they? Yeah. Well, the, the big rocks, the slabs of rock, they're medieval tombstones. Are they? Yeah. God. Have they been taken off someone's tomb? Oh, they must have been. Oh, that's a bit creepy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. What's these little holes, then? Well, 
as a guess, I'd say there were there used to be cannon ports. Do you want to see if you can get in? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll hold the camera. You. No, oh God, I won't get in there. I'll be like bloody Winnie the Pooh, I'll be stuck. It just sort of says tombstones here, 14 to 19th century. I wonder if they were buried in there, Bab. Maybe they were. I don't think so. Not in a castle. Oh, okay. It's like little rooms you can go in off the atrium. Oh. God, is this, is this like a burial thing, Gary? Oh, I don't know if we should be in here. They're not tombstones. Oh, gosh, Gary reckons one's like a, a nun's tomb. I don't know if we should be in here. <laughs> Why shouldn't we I be in here? really <laughs> creepy. <laughs> just paid five euros to be shit scared. You don't, oh, <laughs> you don't turn the light off. You think it's a prophecy? A prophecy, hang on, it says. Oh, don't touch it. It says, in 1400 years, Gary and Julia will visit this site. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Turn the light off on you. It's actually a really easy place to come and visit, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Because it's just literally by the beach as well. Oh, wow, what's this? Well, now, this think... looks interesting. Look at this. It's all... Do you think that's the original flooring deal or something? I think so, yeah. It was either flooring or maybe it was a, maybe it was a track, like a cobblestone road going through the area. Cobblestones really hurt your feet when you're walking on them, actually. And you can see there's the entrance that we came in, and it's pretty much just in a in an atrium. Lots of little doors to go through. Oh, wow. This is what it looks like at the top, and you can climb all the way around it. There's the atrium in there, look. This looks like a lookout. They were definitely skinnier back then, weren't they, Gary? Because <laughs> I'm not sure I can get in here. Good news, everyone. I can squeeze in. What about you, Gary? Can you get in? I'm all right. It's getting out, I'm worried about. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the little spy holes. You see right across the sea. Absolutely brilliant, but you've got to watch your foot in, especially coming up the stairs. Oh, wow, look at this. What's this, Bab? So these are the original cannons, the sort of medieval cannons. Ah. So they were, according to this, they were used to fire um, salutes at passing Christian and Catholic ships. Oh, OK. That looks a really nice picture of you there just outside with the sea. It's just lovely up here. It's really beautiful. It's really worth the two euros fifty to get and have a look, isn't it? Yeah. This is the Kamari's Aqueduct in Larnaca. Um, it was built in 1747 by the then governor of Larnaca, um, Abu Bakr Bashir. Now he spent the equivalent of today, only £6,000 building this, which is wow. pretty amazing. Now it stretched for six miles. In fact, we can't even see it in the background. There you go. It stretched for six miles from the river to bring water to the people of Larnaca, because at the time they didn't have a reliable water source. So it was built in 1747. It took three years to build. So 1750, it brought its first water. Wow. Amazing. How does it, but I don't understand how it brings the water back. Well, it's like a canal above the road or above the ground. So that, you can see the arches there. Uh -huh. um, above there is, is effectively a, a, a sort of a canal. Can you get up and see it? So I you can get up and see it. Should we go and have a look? Yeah, let's go and right, have a look. We'll show you. the lookout point at the Salt Lake Flats and it's absolutely beautiful here you can't really see much of the flamingos but they are out there at the moment aren't they they are there's about three flocks out there at the moment fairly small maybe 20 in one of them and 40 in the other two they're, I love flamingos and they get their gorgeous pink colour is there prawns in that water then uh, yes there is yeah and that's where they as you say that's where they get their pink colour from by eating it but this is the this salt lake here is on their migration route mm -hmm. from Africa to Europe where they migrate every year and here's the view from the lookout point so you can see the salt lake goes for miles it feels like there you go all the way over there and the flamingos we're just on the edge of the water, just there. 
we've just been talking to one of the guys that works here and uh, people aren't actually allowed on the sand, but they're, w- what the guys are having to do is keep pushing them back constantly because even though there's signs everywhere not to go on that sand and disturb them, people always do it, don't they? They've always got to go and disturb people. So people over there walking on the sand, luckily he's told them and they're turning around now. Oh, gosh, yeah, look. Literally, these guys have got their work cut out. He was saying, actually... This is a small amount compared to what will come. Um, Thousands will be here soon. And they're here and they leave about, they can leave between March and June, depending on the water itself. Uh, We hope you enjoyed this fantastic look around Larnaca. We've absolutely loved our day today, haven't we? And if you have enjoyed it, why don't you hit that like, maybe leave a nice comment for us. Let us know what you think. But even the holy grail of it all, give us a subscribe. And if you're watching on the TV, did you know you could click up and where you see our little icon, our, our mushes are all a bit... <laughs> you can just click on that and it will give the option to subscribe from the TV. So we'll see you next time. Love you loads, guys. Take care. Bye.